Welcome everybody, my name is Jared and you're watching 3DHP. It's time for my second video with moles on resin. I had the water washable last week that I done the video on, it printed amazingly well. First time I've ever used water washable resin, nothing cracked, I've had no problems, worked great, and they sent me out another thousand grams. This is their standard rigid resin, nice aluminum bottle, packaged very well, and uh, we're going to go over and we're going to check out their website. I found another location where they're located over on Facebook I didn't know about. We'll check that out. We'll check out the companies on the prints I'm going to be printing. I'll show you some really cool, cool resin lapses that I'm taping with my resin lapse cord. There'll be a link below where you can buy that resin lapse cord also from Uncle Jesse and Andrew Sink. We'll check out some really cool prints. And I'll be printing today on my Anacubic Photon Mono X and then curing in my wash and cure station, which is also by Anticubic. So uh, let's get going. And here we are at Molazon's website at buyresins.com. And the water washable printed great. I uh, had no issues with it whatsoever. And today we're printing with their gray. And uh, if you didn't see my prior video, here's their website right here. They got standard rigid resin, ABS-like, water washable, special engineering, and castable wax. And uh, I'm not sure what uh, the castable wax is, but I haven't tried that from any company. But kind of scroll through here, you can kind of see what's going on here. Go back up to the top, click on the resins, and there's your casting resin. Special engineering resin, water washable, ABS-like, standard resin. And there's a model right there in the center from uh, Malix, Sanix. And let's check them out, and I believe they're... And since my last video, I realized that they had a Facebook group. at Basson 3D Printing. B-A-S-S-E and 3D Printing over on Facebook. And and Basson 3D.com. And there's my Kaiwu printer I have, which is pretty great. Um, very nice machine. I have more videos to do on it. And jumping over to uh, some of my prints I'm going to be doing from Malix uh, Three Design Sanix is link uh, links to all this that I'm talking about will be below in the description. But last year I he came out with his Robo Death the SDLs, which is free to print, and uh, I'm going to be printing this in resin at probably 200% scale. And anybody who wants to download this it appears to be free to download. Very nice. And also, I'm going to be printing the mask. And I'm going to do it with his hat off. This will be beautiful once it's painted. Very nice. And then jumping over to Wicked. Uh, uh, wick, uh, 3dwicked.gunroad.com And they have a Patreon, which I'll show you here in a minute. But Wicked has some really awesome models. I've printed many things from them. I love their work. They're great designers. And I'm going to be printing a bust of uh, um, Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom bust. And the Patreon. I thought they're Patreon. Let's see. And here's their Patreon page right here. Patreon.com slash 3D Wicked. Links below in the description. They have a lot of great work. Many great companies and designers out there and people who sculpt. So, let's jump over, get some resonant printer, and get going, guys.
finally cured. Let's take a look. Yeah, the Dr. Doom bus came out great. There are a few tiny little supports I still have to remove. remove. And whenever I cure models, if I put them in the, in the wash and cure station, I always cure them upright and then I turn them over and try to get the bottoms. Even though there's a reflective bed, I always do that. And then if they're really large, I'll just put them in the sun or I have another portable UV light I set up in my, uh, I set up on them to cure them. And as far as for the holes on the back, I'll take a little bit of resin on a Q-tip, put it over the hole, and then I'll take my UV flashlight multiple times and I'll build that up and completely cure that when I go to seal up the hole. Then the bottom I just leave and there's no reason to uh, cover them up. But yeah, it printed really nice. Looks great. I had zero issues with my settings with this resin from Olazon. Here we got the mask from Sanix. The first one is from uh, Wicked. The, and then we got the mask from Sanix. A little minor cleanup to do here and there. And the same with the hole in the head. I'll plug that. The print came out really nice. Then Robo Death, which is like a RoboCop dead version from Sanix. This is a free file you can download from Sanix's website. Came out really nice. I do have a little bit of a wet resin on it that cured because when I took it out in my compressor in the garage, when I was blowing it out, there's two inside layers here. Once I, uh, my models, my hauled them, I went two millimeters thick. So there was a slightly an area where there's like two layers really close together. Had a little resin in there. I had to blow it out with my compressor and I cured it. I should have rewashed this in alcohol and I never did, but that'll prime over fine when I get rid of the payment. I'll just prime it with a rattle can primer. But they came out really nice. And when I got to this last print, I was really low on my resin in the vat, so I did have to add a little Sritec to it, gray, and it's not 100% Molazon in this model, but I didn't want to run my vat dry, so I did add a little bit of other resin. But the resin printed great. I've had zero issues with it, so, um, you know, uh, once in a blue moon I have problems with resin. Usually most resins print good most of the time, but like I say, it's got recommended settings right on the side. And I showed you their company on uh, on the web, their web page. And like I say, link, there'll be links below in the description where you can purchase this from and where you can find these awesome models at. There'll be links for that also. So, yeah, until the next video, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. And uh, happy resin printing, everybody. Thank you very much for watching.